Hello, this video is designed to help people looking to manage the tracks on their AIM hardware. Now, this video is designed for people to manage tracks in the new Race Studio 3 software. However, if you've got an older AIM device, like an original Solo or an MXL, I've placed a link in the top right hand side to a video that was prepared as to how to manage tracks using a software called GPS Manager. However, this video is designed to focus on managing tracks in Race Studio 3. So the first thing I'm going to do is open it up and it's going to be on the page uh, where my devices are connected and I'm going to use uh, an AIM Solo 2 for demonstration today. So um, typical screen that we've showed in, in, in a number of videos before. Uh, but one of the things I'm going to click on is tracks. Now this usually lists all the tracks that are currently housed uh, on the device itself. However, I've deliberately deleted all the tracks so that I could actually show how to manage the tracks and get them into your device going forward. So to be able to do that, um, up here on the top left hand side, um, one of the buttons up here is called tracks. And if I click there, now what you're going to see is you're going to see this view that shows all the tracks that are available for you to be able to work with. Down here, you can see the connected devices. And if I click uh, down here, it's going to show uh, my um, AIM Solo 2, it's called Coden, my, my last name is what we named uh, the device um, in an earlier video. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to see about getting tracks into the device itself. Now, one of the reasons that um, you, know, you may not want every single one of the 3,892 tracks in your device is because it may save space. If I click up here, um, which is selects them all, you can see it's 17 megabytes in size. Now, many of the devices now come with large memories and there are memory modules where you can download the data. But one of the other challenges that you often face is the fact that if you're running an endurance race and um, if it wasn't an AIM Solo 2, it could be a more uh, advanced uh, device that's capturing a lot of channels and a lot of signals, space becomes a premium. And so this allows you just to be able to manage uh, the space on your device by putting on only what you need in relation to tracks overall. And so I'm going to show you how to be able to manage that. So the first thing you can do is maybe just load all the tracks that you want to have in the nation you live. So I live in the UK, for example, and if I scroll down here, I can see uh, the United Kingdom and I can see that there are all the tracks from the UK here. If I ticked up here, you can see now that's down to half a megabyte, 531 kilobytes. So it's not a huge amount of space. And for many of us who never uh, race in uh, multiple countries, uh, this is a particularly useful way of just being able to limit it to um, your particular region. However, 115 tracks is still a lot of space. And we'll look at how to be able to narrow that down later on uh, in this tutorial. The next thing you can do is to say, well, hold on a second, I might be running uh, in a championship that, uh, especially in Europe, uh, that runs across multiple countries. And so I have the option of being able to go into what they call a smart collection here. And if I click here, I can create a new smart collection and uh, I can call it uh, My Europe, for example. Uh, and I can click up here and say, I just want the European tracks. And I can click and it'll add all of the tracks. However, one of the things you can also do is you can say, well, I'm not going to race in every single one of the European countries. I might just race, uh, for example, in uh, a few. So if I was, uh, say, I was going to race in France, I was going to race in Italy, uh, Germany, uh, Spain and the United Kingdom, um, just as an example, um, I could click on those. If I click on uh, OK, now I've got my smart collection of, of just Europe for me. And if I click there, now these are just all the tracks in those particular regions. And as I scroll down, you can see that... Uh, there will be tracks in each of the particular areas uh, that are available uh, for each of the countries. And so another uh, very useful feature for narrowing down the number of tracks you're going to move over. The last option you have is if you know that you're going to race only a few tracks uh, and you want to be able to manage that. So if I can click on manual collections, I can click here and I can call it uh, my 2020 season uh, and I can click on OK with that one. What I can do then is I can go back to all tracks and it'll load them up uh, in just a moment uh, in the center console. And then I can go in and I can start selecting the tracks that I want. And so I could say, for example, I might race at Brands Hatch. So if I type that in, I can see that Brands Hatch shows up. I could have either, I could have both, or I could have the indie circuit. Now, what's interesting is, is that if you know your particular type of racing only races one of the certain configurations of track layout at a particular uh, location, you can just put that 
on the device. Now this is actually particularly useful um, and many of you who've raced um, let's say for example at Silverstone or many of you have raced uh, let's say in the US at Virginia International Raceway the start finish is in different places based on the configuration of the track and so if the device itself picks up um, the entire full course at VIR but you only want the south course you can actually change what shows up to be able to make sure the device only finds the configuration you need and so I race Formula 4 for example where we only race certain configurations and so I can go in here and I can say well I like Brands Hatch so I'm going to put that in my collection I race at Castle Coombe so I can write that here just type in Castle for example lots of options actually with Castle which is interesting but I can drag that one into there as well I can say for example well hold on a second I might um, go back and and race uh, with some friends in the US this year so we might go to VIR um, so I can type in Virginia International and see what comes up uh, actually a surprisingly large number of tracks do come up in that sense so I need to scroll down to the United United States and sure enough somewhere on here there should be um, within the list hopefully fingers crossed as purposes of demonstration you can see here here is the track that I want VIR South nope it's actually going to be full course so I can drag that into here and so forth and so you can build your particular set of tracks up that you want that then gives you a series of options to be able to work with with management and all you need to do at that point is if I was going to load my season onto the track um, you know I could click on my Europe for example I could say I'd like all of these loaded onto my particular device and so just give it a moment to uh, uh, think about what's going on I've got the little um, uh, do not move sign on here right now which is interesting uh, but interestingly once that's cleared I can click here select the tracks that I want and then I can just drag them over to the right hand side and you can see that all of a sudden um, the tracks are being transferred to my device it just says uh, executing right now and um, once this is done you now have all of the tracks that you need on your particular device and uh, it's a very useful feature for being able to manage the space, being able to manage uh, all of the details um, that uh, you need. And so there you go, uh, completed. The tracks have been successfully transmitted. I'm gonna click on OK. It should refresh up here. And then sure enough, you can see all the tracks are now on my device. And if I go back to the settings here, and I go back to tracks here, it's gonna refresh. And that's just gonna show me that all the tracks are on the device. So have fun uh, using this and being able to work out what you need um, for most of us. Uh, oftentimes uh, all of the devices come with all the tracks so we may not need this but as space becomes a premium as track identification may be an issue this is just an easy way of being able to manage uh, what is and isn't on your device